Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create pieces of artwork in response to the artist Christopher McKenney. And you'll see in Photopia, I've already opened up um, photographs from a photo shoot that I took with a colleague. This one with my colleague sat in a chair um, in a pose with a cloth draped over his head. And this one is the same shot but without him or the cloth in it. And I made sure that I shot both of these shots with a tripod so that they were from exactly the same viewpoint. Okay, so on this photo with my colleague on, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool to begin masking off along the edge of the cloth. And I'm doing this a lot quicker than I think you should, just for the purposes of the tutorial. Um, but take your time going around the cloth, making sure you've got a good clean edge. If anything, try to click on the slight shadow underneath the cloth rather than on the cloth itself, because that shadow will help you and it will work. Where it's um, behind his knee, I'm kind of going round to make it seem like his knee was never there. And the same with this bit of his jeans, I'm just smoothing it down and around. I'm also cutting through the cloth at this point to get more of a swathe and if I just quickly zoom out you can see I'm now going around the rest of my colleague back up to my central point so I have that whole bit masked off and you can see now more easily why I cut through the cloth down the bottom just to make it feel like it was drooping down to the ground and over. And you see I press delete now and that's got rid of that whole section. I'm now going to go back to the other photo and I'm going to rectangle select that whole area, press control C to copy it and then control V to paste it into this piece. And you see it's gone above so I'm just going to drag that layer down below. And you can see because I use the tripod the photo is taken in exactly the same place. So I, you may need to do a bit of nudging around, but in the main, it should be exactly the same as the photo above. So all you need to do is change the color. So I'm going to go image adjustments, color balance, and I'm just bringing up the red and bringing down the blue to make the colors fit better with the other photo. And I'm also going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast and I'm going to just play with those so that they feel, or it feels like it fits with the other photograph, okay? Um, obviously for you, you'll need to do this um, in your own way to make those adjustments to make the photos feel the same. Once they're the same, choose the top layer and merge down so they've merged together. And then Christopher McKenney's work tends to be square, so I'm getting the rectangle select tool and the shift key and I'm just masking off a square area and moving it to where I want it to be before going image crop and I've cropped it down and now the last thing I'm going to do is go to image color balance and just play with the overall whole photo to get it to be a little bit more dramatic a bit more stylized and a bit more like Christopher McKenney's work so it has that kind of atmosphere to it I'm also going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast and just bring down the contrast a bit again to make it feel a little bit more like a photograph with atmosphere. Okay, I'll just zoom in and we can call this bit done and dusted. Now to show you a, another photograph that you could do. And in the same photo shoot, I used the same cloth and this empty picture frame to take the photograph of my colleague. And I've also used the tripod to take a photo of the same angle, the same viewpoint without my colleague in there. 
Okay, so on this photo with my colleague in, I'm going to be using the polygonal lasso tool to begin cutting away everything outside of the bottom of the frame. Okay, so down here, then back up the other edge of the frame. And again, I'm taking less time than I feel you should. I think you should take more time over this, but down and around, back up to my main point. And then I'm going to press delete. And that has got rid of that area on that photo. So on the other photo, I'm going to rectangle select that whole big area, press control C to copy it, and then control V to paste it in. And again, because I've used the tripod, it's photographed from exactly the same place, so it should not need too much more than just a nudge if necessary. All it's gonna need is changing of color, so image adjustments, color balance, and just bring up the red and bring down the blue, and then image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and bring the brightness down and play with the contrast as much as you think. Again, for you, this is going to be personal based on where you've taken the photographs and what you need to do. And you may need to do it a few times over. You'll notice I've gone back to the color balance here and now I've darkened it down. I feel it still needs a bit more color. So I'm just playing with the color here, clicking OK. And that again means I need to then go back to brightness and contrast and play with those again. So keep playing until you get exactly the same kind of color and contrast and brightness as the photo above. Okay. And I think one more time with the color balance. Again, just noodling now, just really making sure that the colors work together. You want the photographs to fit. Okay. And then top player, right click, merge layers. So you've got one photograph and then same as before, I'm making it square with the rectangle select tool and the shift key, drag over the whole lot and then you can move it if you feel it needs to be up or down from there. And once you're happy, image, crop, and then that's your image. And again, like the last one, if you want to play with the brightness and contrast or the color balance at this point to make your piece feel a little bit more like Christopher McKenney's work, then you can. And I think just this one needs a little bit more playing with the contrast and the brightness. Okay. And again, noodling. And I think that is it. I think we can call this piece done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.